A doctor's grief in Gaza, tears for three of his daughters killed by Israeli tank shells. I look at the ceiling, their brain is in the ceiling, drowning in a pool of blood. But Dr. Abu El Ayesh is not bitter from what happened that January day. If I want to stay with anger, with revenge, with hatredness, which I believe are disease, these are diseases, and I don't want to be sick or diseased. He is curing illness, but also seeking reconciliation. The doctor is raising money for a scholarship fund for Gaza girls and a hospital in Israel. We need to overcome and to break the mental and psychological and physical barriers. Trained at Harvard, the son of a Gaza laborer, a widower, the doctor lost daughters ages 14, 15, and 21, just two days before the war ended. The army says soldiers were shot at from a building next to his. Between Israelis and Palestinians, stories still clash over how the conflict happened and why. The doctor says all of that is past. And what do we need? Open and big hearts and minds and to open our eyes that all of us are human. Dr. Abu El Ayesh is moving to a teaching position in Toronto, taking his five surviving children, leaving Gaza for now. Lee Powell, The Associated Press.